Hello, welcome back. Last time I got Zoology Division done and got one of its starfish, but the other one eluded me. I just spent like 40 minutes oh, trying to figure out what it was that I was equipped. missing about getting this starfish, and I think I got it. I just kind of had to, well, it was basically, you know, 38 minutes of staring and 2 minutes of trying one thing, and that one thing seems to have worked. What's weird about this is it doesn't change the dialogue about having to undo everything, so it's possible I'm still missing something, but let me try... Okay, Shelby, sit there, be locked. Come on out, it's possible I'll have to redo this to again, because I'm missing something. I can't get out. But it sure looks like it's going to well, work. How did you get in there? I don't know. I okay, what specific thing did I do? Here I am. So this seaweed, I had a lot of trouble help. figuring out what to do with, and I... Still, it's it's weird. It's used very strangely, but anyway. Um, actually, what does this even do? Actually, oh no, so here's what it does. It holds up the fish food, allowing this to change sides with that object, and that's going to be important. Okay, so anyway, right. So, zoology division, get this starfish. I already got that starfish. I can do it again. It's pretty simple. Once I know how to get this down, right, this goes through that hole. That was the, uh... And the sea creatures are up above. Something I didn't parse the first time through, and I skipped the dialogue this time. But Shelby says something... Look at all, uh, look at all those in the terrariums, and... Or, sorry, these are the terrariums. Uh, aquariums, and then Shelby says, I must be in a cage for amphibious creatures. Didn't, uh, didn't notice at the time that, yeah, this one's halfway in the air and halfway in the water. Anyway, so, I've created a stack. Seaweed here is left of the hole, holding up the fish food. Uh, this has moved left too far. Uh, actually, either of those positions works. I'm gonna choose this one. But yeah, either way would work fine. I wonder uh, why the land creatures are underwater. Well, let's see if Virgil is happier if I do this. I had only pushed it that far left when I tried this and he didn't seem happy with his dialogue. So I'll try something different and see if it changes the behavior. Okay, so, Virgil down below. Hey Shelby, this would goes this on top help? of him. Yes, immensely. All this floating is making me sick, and I need a cold compress. Okay, Virgil, get safe, go there. Uh, you're gonna push those together and go... Here, so check this out. No dialogue about, hey, Agent T, can you come help me push this? But if I do that, hey, Agent T, that's what triggers us. come help me push this ice cube over to Shelby? I'm sorry, Virgil. I'm afraid you're on your own. I wish I'd known that ahead of time. I would have gotten everything set up. Now we have to undo it all. But I did get everything set up, Virgil. Check it out. I put this here. I moved to the other side of the fish food so I can climb. Have a way to push that to the left. It goes on the ledge. Uh, the, these are absolutely the only two things that can go down this shaft, by the way. So that was a good way to measure my progress. The ice gives me a way to push left more to clear the shaft. And now that's in a spot where I can push it where the pipe is. So Virgil, we don't have to undo anything. You were mistaken. Yeah, it does make me wonder if there was alternate dialogue I could have seen somehow if I'd, like, made the puzzle scripting happier by doing a different set of actions. Or maybe Virgil's going to be like, Oh cool, we didn't need to undo after all, I was wrong. No. Or maybe, again, maybe I don't understand what's happening. Because I don't think I need these two objects anymore. There are three objects, four objects. Their job is done. Because yeah, this is Starfish Route. This is still open. Uh, island. But not going to be an island when I put the octopus there. So that's fine, right? Uh, okay, yeah, so turtle lock... Snail unlock. Snail goes this way, I think it is. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Do that. And... What happens now? Snail keeps on scuttling. Virgil sits there. The two of us are going to collaborate. Oh, that stops my key repeat, and it, it uh, turns around my snail. Uh, 
So yeah, the rest of this, other than making a little detour to step in the space, should be exactly as I remember, right? And, you know, knowing how to move the fish around should be, uh, better. Uh, right, so the idea was we slide this open, get the turtle under it, have Virgil push it back the other way, and then can lift. Okay, so, uh, here. Press 3 and that'll unlock you. And, uh, right, there's always a weird snail shuffle here, but with a weird snail shuffle... That should give me the opportunity to create a situation where you can get that starfish. There we go. Ding. Nice job. Good. Okay, so, uh, Virgil, up top. Uh, Shelby alongside. Shelby's on the island. Let's change that. That's where I want you, right? I'm not sure... I think you actually need to be on this side. Yeah, that's fine. Here-ish will do. Alright, Virgil, you need to be on top of that. I guess I can do this, and then Agent T has the choice of lifting or not lifting. Uh, yes, that's fine for everything I'm doing in the future, I think. Okay, octopus, across. Shelby elevates me. Shelby Vader 2.0. Oops. Uh -huh. Shelby Vader 3.0. And then, right, this fish is surprisingly going not the direction I thought. It does go down past the octopus. That squid's gotta go this way. Wait. How does that happen? Shelby's in the wrong spot. Here might be right. Or here, I guess. Uh, maybe. Was this the way? Yeah, it feels right. So we do this ascent again. Does this feel right? This feels different. But I don't know, I only did this once. Didn't commit it to memory, apparently. Uh, no, now I can't get up to that fish. Hold on, how did this work? You do need to stick to this at some point. Probably there-ish. But now what do I do? Well, I can just push this to the right now with that still held up. That's how it is, I think. Then climb in, detach with snail, push that left. I mean, sure, that should work. I think, because I can, I can hold the octopus. That ah, classic activity, Shelby's on an island. Oops, uh, you go down, you go over. Uh, Virgil is in a bad spot. No, hang on, how did this work? Do I need to back out and watch my demo? I might. Because at some point, Virgil and Shelby both got back down here. I guess I'll just leave things as they are? That doesn't seem right, but I don't know, maybe it is? So like this? Maybe. I sure wish I could, like, keep my undo buffer and go back out and watch what I did, but I don't think I can. Okay. 
Okay, now what? This does not seem right. That fish is not coming here. Alright, fine. Let's go back to a state that I know is good. Make a save, back out, watch what I did. And then... Yeah, okay, I know this state is good. Save here. I mean, this is why I uh, did the thing. So, right click, play this. Go fast, but not too fast. This is fun to watch. All right, so what happens here? Push that over. Climb like this. Climb like that. Yeah, okay, so what I did... Push that all the way off. Ah, Virgil down below that and Shelby goes around there. And then together we pull the squid over. Got it. Okay. That's what I was missing. Cool. Look at So, this, this, this. Oops. Uh, so something like that will work. You stick to the floor, I push you over, and I have that fish now, or I can at least, although, okay, let's not push that that far over. Uh, wait, but this is not... This doesn't seem right, because, oh wait, hang on, right, I can just push it all the way over. Yeah, and even down into the water, and that's fine. Whoops! Ooh. That's okay. Is it? I mean, I guess so. I can bring Shelby over. That's a journey, but I can do it. Wasn't there a simpler way? Somehow? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe this is right. Because I need Virgil back under the octopus. That does seem to involve him going back through here again, which, you know, it's fine. I could do it. You there, you here. I hear a rumor there's a way to get the starfish without interacting with this object using a possible bug in the game. But that's not the way I choose to do it. Uh. I guess I also push you to the left of the thing? Do I? Maybe. I mean, I can. Again, I feel like there was a simpler way, but this... I know this will work. It's just like what I did before. Uh, on the floor. No, on the floor here. Yeah, sure. Good enough. Okay, so, um... Don't worry, dear. Don't worry, dear. Fishy, welcome to the team. How do we need to lay ourselves out... Something like this, or so? No, I need to be able to push fishy leftwards, so not that. More like this? 
Uh, but that's not right either. So this... I think, maybe? Welcome to the team, fishy. Okay, now this dance was very complicated. Again, I might have to go reference my demo. Let's assume I don't. Okay, so Virgil needs to not have the weight of a heavy thing on top. I think if I stick the snail there, lift both, put Virgil here, then I have enough room to do what I need. Maybe? I think so, yes. Uh, no. No, Fishy's in the wrong spot... or something? Does snail need to be higher? No, then that puts the weight of a steel pipe on Virgil, so... Shelby's either the bottom or second from bottom. What if second from bottom? No good. Fishy goes down. Okay, so no. Shelby needs to be on the bottom. Virgil could maybe be up one. Is that better? Uh, no, this involves weight of a heavy thing on... Oh, hang on. No, I can do this. How is that better? Well, because it gives Shelby some room to edge over. There we go. There we go. That's the one. Uh, then these two push as a package. Uh, wait, how does that work? That would involve Virgil on top of Fishy, like this. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, yeah. That shuffle was complicated. Down with seaweed! Fishy can go down too. Support Parrot. Put Parrot on shelf. Get Snail here. Avoid killing snail. Get starfish. Hmm. And we're done. Great. Uh, fishy. I have an inclination that I... Yeah, I can make this happen. I'm going to give you a little home right here. Here, let's even do that properly. All the way in the thing. Alright, so, uh... Virgil goes up. Shelby... Oh, hang on, Virgil pushes seaweed over. That's unnecessary. Here we go. Two starfish. I did it. Please enter keycard. How bothersome. I knew there would be a catch. Maybe it wants this key card we found in the super duper secret archives. I guess it did, because no one said anything after that. Okay, so, new picture. You are a big one. All right, this is the rest of the video. Well, you're not a big one, but you have tiny little pieces. You're big relative to your piece size. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, and we're down to, well, three puzzles, uh, technically, because of bonus stuff. Um, one real puzzle. Uh, uh, what am I looking at here? Here's part of an X. There we go. No, that's some scenery. All right, can't at all tell what this scene is yet. Uh, here's some text. That's that text. It's not this. Okay, this looks like text, but it's not. Your IL. A bit of F. Uh, wait, hang on. No, this is not... Oh, that's part of the. That is text. Okay, I misread. There's a bit of a 2 somewhere. Well, an I. So an upper left and a lower left will have chunks of I in it. 
You're not that, are you? You are! Okay, so it's very subtle. Lower left should be a little less subtle. Should be, but is not apparently. Okay, that's in the shadow a little bit. It's not this. That's something else. Okay, never mind. Um, I'll look for this a different way. I'm just going to do sandy patterns. Here we go. That one went there. Sand and shadow. Here's some dark sand. Uh, light sand. Light sand might connect. Alright, all light sand in this area. Anything with that color. There's a bunch of it, actually. Still gonna get it all together. Okay, those connected. Okay, great. Found, found something. You're a little darker. Okay, connection. Connection, big one. You look like you'd want to go together like that, but you don't. You might be farther down or something. Let's see, this could be on that side of it, but it's not. Are you above? You are! There we go. You're part of this, Hirish. Yep. You're farther background. How does this transition to the background? There's more transition tiles than that, I think. Oh, no, it's, it's that one. Okay, and then farther background still, maybe? Somewhere around there. Uh, there might be other things I could work on in this area. But I'm reasonably satisfied where I am at the moment. You look like you connect there. You do. I think this is lower left or right. Probably left based on how the text is. Let's see how the rest of this works out. Yeah, there's nothing quite that light left over. So I think I'm happy with that position. There you go. I knew you went somewhere in that area. You do too. Mm -hmm. Is this the same object? It might be. Yeah, the rock lines up too. I think that's right. So this one will be mostly rock and a little bit of sand shadow. Not quite. I have no idea what I'm looking at yet. Uh, this is fairly foreground. It's there's the one, the mostly rock and a little bit of whatever. Uh, do you go here? You do. Okay, is this the other part of that? It is. Mm -hmm. Just debris in the sand. I think that's a chest at the top of it with a skull next to it, maybe? I have no idea what this object is. An overturned barrel and like a mangled bicycle tire? Okay, um... Oh, that's a connection. Do these connect? They look like they want to, but they don't. Do these connect? They look like they want to, and they do. That's plausible lower right. It might not be, but it's poss possible. Okay, a connection. These little bits of green, I don't know what they are. But I see that they're all over in the sand. Either debris or plant life. Uh, you might go here? You do. That's very in the shadow. Maybe around there? No, it's too in the shadow for that. Here? Here? No. Okay, you are less so. Hmm. And this stuff's getting more background, sort of fading to blue. Okay. 
Uh, I think the fish wagon is in this picture. That looks like a fish wagon piece. Yeah, that's totally a fish wagon piece. Okay, I've identified an element of the picture. Uh, okay. But identifying elements doesn't really help me. Okay, what do I need to do here? Uh, I don't know. Figure out this shadow? Okay, a shadow connection was made. Like, this piece is going to have almost no sand on it. It's just something else. It's that barrel, I think. Okay, I'm trading sand for... Background, see, it's this. Found you. Or like a bucket, or I don't know, something. Uh, you go here. Okay, yep, not really getting any insight into what that is. I think it's a barrel buried in the sand a bit. That, just, I have no idea. Uh, this is like an alien artifact or something, maybe? Did I try these in all the places? I did not, because it attaches there. Okay, getting there. You're farther background than that. You need to go upward, generally. Your foreground. Yeah, those connect, I understand, but, but but then what happens? Nothing really. Okay, I guess you're farther background. There's like a second shadow going on here somewhere that I haven't identified. You go there, sure. Okay. Like, yeah, I can just sort of tell by the saturation. These are desaturated in their background. This is a little more saturated. It's more foreground than those are. This is foregrounded shadow. It's like right here, but it's somehow not. Maybe it's there. These are probably car parts of some description. Okay, background sand. Around that layer or so, you're more saturated. Everything's saturated, it's very wet. Ooh, okay, high saturation here. Okay, a connection. Doesn't help me yet. It will eventually. Okay. But, but how? Where? Who? Nowhere here. Hmm. And then there's you. Okay, found a connection. Here we go, and here's part of that alien technology. Whatever it is. Here you go, way up. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this could connect in here somewhere, but it doesn't seem to. Uh, okay, sure. Just doing a saturation match again. Okay, sure. You two are somewhere around the same layer. Not that way connected, though. You are right around this. You're a bit darker? Okay, sure. You're more saturated, so probably below. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Um, what am I trying to find? This tree looks like it goes here, and it does! Okay, there we go. So then things in this area, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this is alien technology on the beach with the fish wagon parked nearby, right? That feels like what I'm seeing. Okay. Or is this, are those the fins of the fish wagon? Does it look like that? That's not what I, not how my 
picture of it in my mind looks. Maybe this isn't the fish wagon. Maybe this is some other piece of technology. But no, this is very, very car window shaped. Ooh, and how am I going to find the rest of it? Uh, good luck. And there's just like junkyard stuff here. Yeah, okay, this is this is a dump. One of the many, many toilets that get dumped. When you're done with a toilet, it just goes in the ocean. That's probably true for a lot more things than we'd like to acknowledge in the real world. <laughs> Okay, what do you connect to? This? No. The, uh oh, something. I'm just kind of putting pieces together at random, whatever I see that might go somewhere. I guess I'm doing, like, car window right now. Reasonable. Why not do car window? I think you connect to the... no. There, okay. Okay. Okay, nice. I don't know what you are or where you go. I'll just try some random places. None of those were right. What's this? It's Sandy. Aha! I mean, okay, this is alien technology in that it's lights that Vinny pulled off of the... salvaged from the junkyard, right? Pulled off of the UFO. Uh, there's totally more car window. Here's some. It's this part. Okay. Car roof. Car front, maybe? Okay, great. That might be right relative to each other. Mm, oh, not what I expected. I can't quite tell what angle I'm looking at this thing from. I mean, this is the side of it, isn't it? But then it's... So it's facing left, right? That's the front. Here's the driver's mirror. Uh, this is part of you? Mm, not that part of you. This is interior, maybe? I don't know. Uh, you totally go down lower than you are right now. You're very background. Oh, hang on, but this has a car part on it. Uh, this has a car part on it. You, out the way. That could be the same line, or... Could it be like this? It could and it is. There we go. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, you're part of a car. What part? This part? Yes. Okay, this, like, roof line here is probably followable. I did it. Let's do it more. That's a handle. Door handle. Yes, that door handle. That's another door handle. This one. This part of a window. Mm hmm Where does this go? I don't know. Okay. Like, isn't this dashboard? Or is this? This is not the top. Oh, it's... That's the... Right, that distinctive neon color. It was the bottom. I see. I wonder if this whole piece can maybe connect here. Mm, it's not yet looking likely. No, there's more missing in the middle first. Uh, I don't know what you are. You're totally front. Like, you probably can connect to one of those pieces or the other, right? Uh, uh, are you farther right? Okay, so that's all connected there. Are you here? You are! There we go, got a big, big piece. Okay, so there's more junkyard background. Pile of trash. Continues. Uh, you're there. 
you're the front. You're a part, not that part. Back? Somehow? Somewhere? Not there. Wait, what part of the fish wagon are you? You're totally a part of the fish wagon, right? Like, what am I... What am I? I don't know what I am. Uh, okay. There we go. You are totally here. Mm -hmm. Those little rowers or whatever they are. Then where can you go? Oh, you're on the roof. Okay, got it. And you're above the... No. What is this? That's the back. Yeah, apparently I don't know what the pearled up fish wagon looks like very well. <laughs> Alright, so just dark brown, a little bit of light blue. Dark brown and nothing else. Yes, okay, great. And what about this interior? Okay, this is the window. Yes, very shiny. This is not that piece, but it's a piece of something. You might be the back. You are. You're a fin. That fin. The tail fin. What about this? Oh, it's the, the top fin. Okay, the shark fin. Right, it does have one of those. I forgot. <laughs> Again. Don't know what it looks like very well. Who's that in the driver's seat? Is that the driver's seat? It's red, so I assume it's a crab, but it doesn't look like Virgil or King. Maybe that's not a character? I can't tell what that red thing is that I'm looking at there. It's just... just a... just an indistinct blob. Okay, that connected. Foregroundish rocks. There we go. Foregroundish other stuff. Somewhere around here. There we go. Somewhere around here. There we go. That's a good connection. Frees up some space. A lot of sand in this composition. I'm glad I was able to sort by saturation and get something done. Uh, okay, so the pile of junk continues in the very background. There we go. Okay, we got the full, full everything. Can't move this piece anymore. The rest of this is just going to be annoying, fiddly cleanup. You are down here-ish, yes. Uh, you must be here. Mm -hmm. You must be... what? Here! That missing piece. The one that didn't look like anything else. Okay, high saturation, high saturation, relatively, <laughs> relative to what it is right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that worked great. Last piece of the car. You're down lower. Nifty. And you totally go down here, yes. Yes. It'll be one of these spots. That spot, that spot, that spot. There we go. Yeah, just just sort sort those colors. And things work out. This is satisfying. You must be here. That's the only possibility. You could be here. You are. You must be one of these places. And there we go. Puzzle is done. Neat. Okay. Pearled up fish wagon visiting the junkyard. With its many toilets. And just a bunch of trash all over the ground. Nothing of particular interest here. Okay. Great. So, this is all done. Uh, final uh, level on the map. The Uber Critter. We're going to see that next time. And I guess... Therefore, I'm saying these will be saved for after. Reasonable. I don't know about this one. That might not ever happen. Mm, that depends on things. Maybe I should do this next? Okay, so my thought is, I'm going to do the Uber Critter. At least a basic solve. There's a bunch of starfish in here. It's four. 80 is the total. So four starfish here. I'm kind of expecting I'll have like an episode of doing this level and then I can look at the starfish rewards and that'll help me plan like I'll know what what everything is and it'll help me plan around like these custom puzzles and stuff. I I'm just right now saying this is not going to be a one part to get this done and all its starfish. 
Uh, so okay, so next time, basic solve, the Uber Critter, that's the plan. I'll see you then.